All right, so let's talk about this song. There's some kind of love and there's some kind of hate. The maggots in the iron lung won't cop- copulate, which is just what a great. I love what Doyle's a- Doyle's comment on uh, is it iron lung or iron? I play I guitar. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the perfect response. I play guitar. That's it. It is for Doyle. That's the perfect response. Yeah, I like what Ballad says here, actually. There's a consistent theme. There's a consistent theme with Danzig from these static age lyrics juxtaposing love and hate, pain and pleasure, death and life. Matt? Very true. I, I would I would concur with that. Um, Matthew says, I assume that some kind of hate was a take on the Velvet Underground's some kind of love. Hold on, my thing is frozen. God, gosh darn it. Would make sense. That makes a lot of sense. And Glenn did like Lou Reed. He did like the Velvet Underground. I always thought that there was a song called Some Kind of Wonderful. So I always thought it was like kind of like just like a pun on some kind of or a pun on some kind of love, or <coughs> some kind of hate. You know, it's just there's some kind of love. There's some kind of hate. But yeah, it definitely is like a pain and pleasure. Maybe like, again, like a BDSM kind of theme, you know, some kind of love. There's some kind of hate. So then the maggots in the iron lung won't copulate is so just sort of with that. I, I, it's like it's you know what it to you know what to me it's a Valentine's Day roses are red violets are blue you are yucky and you're made out of goo that's just him go finding something to rhyme with this notion of there's some kind of love and there's some kind of hate okay. you know I'm good um, with that yeah that makes sense right. Um, oh, oh! Here's what. Here's one for David. I'm glad you, Rue. I'm really glad you enjoyed that video. I wish you were in it more. Um, I should have taken more video next time. Next time I'll take even more video. I just was. I was just enjoying myself. That was the problem. Um, maggots in the iron lung won't copulate because the guy in the iron lung isn't dead yet, and it's a whoa. Simple. <laughs> The maggots in the iron lung will copulate because the guy is alive in the iron lung. Holy shit. <clears throat> right? I mean, is that like a polio reference, the iron lung? Well, the iron lung, you know, when people, I don't know if it was what it, what it was for. It was yeah, for it was polio. for polio. Yeah. That's yeah. what happens. You get put in an iron lung. But if you're not dead, then the maggots aren't going to copulate because you're still alive. The guy is still alive, right? I like it. I like it. Um... The beginning of the lyrics, there's some kind of love trying to make you think it's another sappy love song. I mean, yeah, like to an extent, to an extent. Um, I, I just feel like it's sort of like a, it's snotty is what it is. It's sort of like a snot. There's some kind of love. There's some kind of hate. The maggots in the iron lung won't copulate. And it's a whoa, whoa, whoa. And we know those woes are just, you know, every song that he grew up on, I'm going to do you know, go totally in that doo-wop sort of route of things, you know? Yeah. And um, if you look closely, that fourth one's a little different in there. You know? <laughs> I said, oh, whoa. I said, oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, just pure, yeah, just pure whatever it's called, um, doo-wop sort of stuff. And then here's what a great, I mean, again, it's almost like he's trying to write this really romantic song with really macabre lyrics. You know, hear the cats cry, little tortured babies in pain. Is he, when he's saying hear the cats cry, little tortured babies in pain, he's taught referring to the cats crying as the little tortured babies in pain. That's or or is the, are those supposed to be different? I would think it's the same, you know. Yeah. The, I mean... To me, it, it reads straight. Hear the cats cry. Those cats are tortured babies in pain. Right. Cracked necks by settled limbs. They don't hesitate. What does that mean? I think that's not right. I think we don't know what he really is saying. No? Yeah. Cracked necks by settled <laughs> limbs. They don't hesitate. That's not right. Okay. Cracked necks on on settled limbs. Cracked necks on settled. I don't know. I think it's by, but. When I hear that, that their necks are broken. If their limbs are settled, they're not moving because their necks are broken because they're dead. 
crack necks by or next to crack yeah. necks by settled limbs. Yeah. So who's they don't hesitate? Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's right. That's not crack necks by settled limbs. I, I don't limbs. know. It, it sounds hesitate. pretty right. They they, they won't hesitate. <clears throat> they won't hesitate. They don't hesitate. Yeah, I mean, the word hesitate is definitely correct, but is they and don't correct? Yeah, I mean, something just, I mean, it's like, well, of course they hesitate. They're dead. <laughs> you know, they're... Right. Right. And then it's a whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's saying, and it's a whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's break that down, too. <laughs> it's like, it's almost like shrugging your shoulders. And it's a whoa. <laughs> like, like a whoa, whoa, whoa is like, a, it's like a thing. You know, like so it's a shame. What is, what is the general, like, overall view of what this song is about? Like, I think it's just sort of like a, it's just like a snotty love song. It's just like a snotty song. That's the best way. Like a snotty teenage angsty kind of song that like a twelve year old. I feel like a though, little like, bit. I think there's got to be a deeper meaning because, like, you know, you know like, yeah. in the, doorway, the duality of love and hate, the duality of of pleasure and pain. ¿Qué pasa, mi gente? You know, there's some kind of love and there's some kind of hate. I'm gonna tell you all about it now. So he's telling us all about the there's some kind of love and there's some kind of hate. If any, you know, what's interesting in a way. In a way, I think that I think that this song is like the closest one of the closest things to like an early Danzig song that really doesn't have much substance to it. Peter and Chris disagree with you, Jeff. <coughs> Let's see what about what it's maggots in the eye of love, Pete. You're crazy. You're crazy, Chris too. And and then the world, and then the world divided into two groups of people <laughs> in the United States. Those think who think David, Glenn Danzig David. is singing about the Eye of Love. David has got the right idea, maybe. Yeah, we we've got some administrative work to do in the group. <laughs> David, David says, "Is is the Eye of Love an anus? I mean, it's a brown eye, and it's used for loving, and it's rough sex, some kind of love, and some kind of." <laughs> I love the maybe. idea. <laughs> <laughs> maybe those maggots aren't maggots after all but they're oh still little white gosh. things no no he's saying that like that, like the notion of like some kind of hate like some kind of love is like what happens in the front part and some kind of hate oh is what God. happens in the back like oh. but like hate as in like rough <laughs> like rough there's some kind of hate <laughs> dude that is so fucking funny I didn't even think about that there's some kind of love <laughs> and there's some kind of hate. That's interesting. <laughs> some so. kind of love and there's some kind of, oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We're not doing that one. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. Cats really screech when they do. Oh, God. It's freaking software is killing me. Oh. Tonight. Cats really screech when they do the birds and the bees things because their appendages have <clears> little <throat> spikes. Cats crying are unbearable. Hmm. Yeah, they get stuck. Like the big lion, right. actually. Just like stuck. ducks do. Pete, you're so wrong. It is not maggots in the eye of love. There's a bunch of people. Droid Little says, I love. B Mac is saying, I love. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's Iron Long or Eye of Love? I go back and forth. I do. Really? Because sometimes, you know, the problem is like, you know what I've been trying to decipher is the really good, there was a really good MSG show uh, footage of some kind of love, uh, some kind of hate. Yeah. And I was trying to decipher what Glenn was saying there because he did sing it pretty clear. But man, it's it's hard because when, for me at least, when I read both lyrics, I'm like, it could be this, but it could be that. Like, I really don't know. But I mean, I feel like as a songwriter, he probably wouldn't say love again. He probably would say, like, iron lung. You know what I mean? Like, it would be kind of redundant just to repeat. Yeah, why would he say there's some kind of love, there's some I, kind of hate, the maggots in the eye of love? No, it's iron lung. You just nailed it, Robbie. That, for me, is <laughs> this notion. Ballad says maggots in the eye of love won't copulate. This relationship spark is so, so dead 
that not even the maggots feasting upon its carcass will do the horizontal tango. That works. <laughs> Michael said, I have lung. <laughs> <laughs> I have lung. But actually, what? it's probably I have love says carnigans are cool. Guys, my my sh the show on stream thing is frozen. It's really annoying what, the crap out of me. What if it's iron love? You know, like, uh... maybe the maggots in the I iron. God damn, I hate this thing. I'm, there's just so much. There's, there's just so much. I mean, it's a good thing this is not on. Oh, there was a meme for that actually. I'm ripping. I'm ripping that off. It's there's a meme where it's what is it on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and Glenn's like trying to decide. <laughs> yeah. Glenn wouldn't tell you. Glenn wouldn't even tell you know if we said, "Hey, Chris, can you ask Glenn?" And he probably wouldn't even tell Chris. He just would just be like, Ugh. you know, he just be like you know, it's about violence. <laughs> about fucking <clears throat> there was one interview where he was like yeah and holy passion it's about fucking oh man it. david is on a fucking roll what did he say i can't see my comments or he said maggots out. in the iron love maggots are sperm iron love is his johnson that's what i said earlier maggots <laughs> in the iron love what, what how, david like how do you come up with this shit it's amazing. They won't copulate because he's yeah he's he's a friggin' genius. This dude is a <laughs> genius. This is why I love the fucking chat. Is just so golden. Chris says, "See, Glenn is proving that he's truly evil, like the fruits of the devil." <laughs> so he, he he once again has dwelled again on the maggots and the iron lung won't copulate. That's why I think it's that's what you really have to check. He's not saying maggots and the iron lung. The eye of love will populate in verse three. So if it's if it's iron lung in verse three, then it's definitely iron lung in verse one. So it's not eye of love. It's one hundred. I'm so sure of it. I'm, I'm so sure of it for sure. I mean, I'm not for sure, but I think <laughs> there's some kind of love and there's some kind of hate. I'm gonna tell you all about it now. The ma okay, so here's the thing. So whatever the 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 kind of love and the kind of hate is, it's has to do with maggots in the iron lung that won't copulate. Because he's like, I'm gonna tell you all about how the maggots in the iron lung won't copulate. And it's a whoa, 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 baby. Whoa, 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 baby, whoa, 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 whoa. I said whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I I think I don't think it's eye of love. Why would he say eye of love? He wouldn't say that. It's definitely a tough one. This was a really fun episode, you guys. I, I wish there was a thousand misfit songs. I wish there was a thousand static age mysteries for us to solve. And unfortunately there's like not. There's so few. And it makes me sad. He's teaching he's teaching biology to impressionable kids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Oh my he's god. He's gonna get those children in heat. Yeah, he's gonna get them in heat. Carnigans are cool, says listening to it now, it sounds like he's saying an N in the second word, but it's vague. So that means it would be iron if he's hearing it. I mean it's it's tough, man. Chris says that she reminds him of nervous breakdown by Black Flag. That's an interesting sort of <clears throat> Double, double feature right there. Um, man, this was this was a great episode. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I just want to thank again my my guests, Russell Casualty and Robbie Blood Cheese, no Robbie Bloodshed, um, for Robbie joining me. Shoes, what? <laughs> Robbie Clown Shoes. <laughs> Robbie. Oh my God, Robbie. You got to do it. On April Fool's Day, you got to dress up as Robbie Clown Shoes instead of Robbie Bloodshot. <laughs> With like a big red nose on your face, you know? Like rain, the rainbow hair wig. It'll be great. It'll be great. 
You say, okay, now I'm going to do a a cover set of Dr. Chud songs. Oh, yeah, right. No, I'm out of (laughs) here. It's like a good fellow's nickname. Robbie Two Times. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, Robbie Clown Shoes. (laughs) Ballad says he just listened to some reunion show footage, and it sounds like he's saying, I have love. Well, Glenn's wrong. Listen, I just want to challenge anybody out there to do a Red Hot Chili Peppers cover of Wicked no, Pussycat. Don't. Please don't do that. I like a bite now. I like it better. I like a chicken finger pussy sand weather. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be great. 